With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. In this question, um, a person stands on a spring balance at the equator. By what fraction is the balance reading less than his true weight? And if the speed of the earth's rotation is increased by such an amount that balance reading is half of the true weight, what will be the length of the day in that case? So let's see how the length of the day decides the reading of the spring balance. Simple. So first of all, spring balance reads what? So if you see this is the earth and uh, equator so it's all about equator so if this is the normal reaction and this is the mg and uh, from the earth frame there will be a centrifugal force so this is centrifugal force so you can see the spring balance reads this spring balance reading right now the normal reaction will be in this case this will be this now what will be the omega here right what will be the omega here so the omega is 2 pi by t where t is time for one revolution one revolution time so what's the time for one revolution to so earth take 24 hour in one revolution so let's multiply it with 3600 0 to convert it into second so it will be this much second right so earth take this much second for one revolution so if you see you can see the normal reaction depends on the time of one revolution. So earlier the weight was this when the earth wasn't rotating. So now you can see the change in weight is what? This minus this and that will be this. Okay. So in the first part you have to say uh, by what fraction the spring balance rating is less than the true weight. So now uh, you have to calculate the fraction. So fraction will be change in weight by initial weight. So that will be m omega square r by g mg. So this m will get cancelled out. Now if you see what is the value of omega here. So omega is 2 pi by t. You can see here. Right, so just put the value of t here you will get the omega. 2 pi by 86400. So, this will be the omega. Now, just put this value of omega in this question. Right. So, if you put this value of omega here, here the omega value is 2 pi by 86400. So, if you will put this value of omega here, you will get this fraction as 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 3. So this will be the fractional change in the reading. Now let's see what is the um, what is the length of the day if the spring balance reads half of the true value. So now this quantity this quantity will be equal to half. So the change in because the change in weight is the half here. So if you will put the value of d w by this is equals to half. So what you will get? Yeah, what you will get? M omega square r by m g was the fractional change is equals to this, right? So you can see already this quantity will be equals to half. Now just put this value. Put all the values here 
and you will get the time right so you can see already this omega is 2 pi by t so r will be equals to g by 2 so i took it capital r so make it capital r right now from here you will get the omega value omega will be simply under root of this right so if you get the omega make the omega equals to 2 pi by t and you will get this t right so yeah so if you will solve this further you will get the t will be equals to 2 pi under root under root 6 4 0 0 10 to the power 3 by 9.8 g value into 2 so further solving it you will get the value of t as 2 hours simple so did you know the process now so simply the change in weight will be this so by using this you can calculate the first part and the second part simple thank you for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.